Hello everyone and welcome to another Wednesday's Nest Day and we are looking at Ski or Die. Ski or Die is a 1990 uh, action game of the sports simulation variety. And if you look in here on the title screen it says Ultra Games, but if you look at the box art for the cartridge it says Palicom. And they were sort of the, um, the US and the European uh, subsidiaries of Konami respectively. So this game was developed by Electronic Arts with assistance from Konami for the NES version, which is what we're playing. It was also published by Electronic Arts through their and through Konami's uh, subsidiaries of Ultra Games and Palcom Software. So it's a it's a sports simulation game, but not really. It's kind of like Skater Die, where it's sort of skating mini games. In fact, you're gonna see that it looks very similar. Let's press the start button. Ah, and there's our buddy. There's Rodney. Jeepers creepers yourself, buddy. Huh? What you saying? So yeah, just like Skate or Die, we got this uh, cursor here. We can roll it around. Don't laugh. This kept me warm when I was on it, too. Hey, my altitude increased my appetite. Alright, and I'm constantly screwing this up. There we go. So, just like Skate or Die, we have this sort of menu screen here where we can sort of browse around, look at stuff, and hear what Rodney has to say about it. And yeah, that's Rodney from Skate or Die. And his kid Lester is around here somewhere. So, just like Skate or Die, it's kind of more of a party game, more so than a, a like, a, a game with its own sort of like story or goals. Now, we've only got one player, and we are not going to compete. We are just going to go practice. And just like Sater Die, we kind of get this overworld map here, where we can roll around and pick where we want to go. Now, I rotate left or right by pressing left or right respectively, but then I can move forward by pressing A or B. So let's start with the least ski uh, ski ball. Let's start with the least skating game of them all, the snowball ball blast. So we are essentially playing like a shooting game, like Commando or something like that. And we want to throw snowballs at the guys out here. Now it may look like there's just this screen. But if you look in the bottom right, there's north, south, east, and west with numbers. We can switch where we're looking at. So now we're looking west. And we're trying to take out the guys to the west. Let's grab that star. Oh, there we go. That snow shovel should help take us out a little bit. We don't want to hit everybody. Like that skier, I think, is a ski instructor. He's a cool guy, we don't want to bother him. Alright. Now, I think there's eight levels of this. And I've always kind of wondered if, um, if, like, the light gun worked with this. Let's get more snowballs. Now, we can change the direction we're looking by holding down the B button and then pressing either up to go north. So I think we gotta do it at the top of the screen. Or if we're on the right side of the screen, we look east. We hit the Yeti. And we gotta kind of go wherever the most danger is. got seven more guys to take out. I think we're going to beat this level. Although we are deep in the snow, if you can see our profile picture, sort of down there at the bottom right. Alright, only one left. Got him. 
Okay, level two. We are up to our knees in snow. Don't hit that. That's the instructor. Come here, you. Yeah, that little that little creep that comes up on our snow fort. He's a problem. Oh, we are nearly covered. Are there any snow shovels to dig us out? Uh, come on. There's more ammo. We're not really hurting for ammo. Polar bear. There's a snow shovel. gonna make it? I don't think so. Come on. There's too many snow kids. Ah! Got him. Come on. Oh, we're practically a snowman. No, wait, no, no, we're still in the game. We're doing a lot better than I thought, actually. Hello, bear. Whew. Level three. Well, we we're, we're we're practically we're practically a snowman. We're gonna make it. Now, the star sort of gives us rapid fire. Got him. Oh, there's just too many for us to handle. I've only got 70 some odd snowballs left. It's almost like Hangman, except Snowman. Come on. I don't think that shovel did enough. It's actually kind of fun. I'm having more fun than I remember. Uh, we've been snowed frosty. So we have to level three. Not too bad. And no, we will not practice again. It's time for the downhill blitz. Alright, so just like with skate or die, we gotta choose how we want our footing. We want regular or goofy. Goofy will uh, allow us to turn uh, in response to which direction I press, left or right. If we go regular, it would be the opposite. So if I hit left, we turn to the right and so forth. So I'm going to pick Goofy. And fall right off the mountain. Oh, no good. So remember, when you're skiing, think hot dog and french fries. French fries go faster, hot dog goes slower. And if I press down, I pick up the speed. I don't remember if we can jump in this one. I'm not doing good at all. Maybe I should have played regular. Oh, 
Oh, this is bad. I'm so glad you guys don't come and watch me for, like, my ability. <laughs> Actually, I don't know why you people watch me. I'm terrible at games. I think most of you just like listening to me while you fall asleep. I'm fine with that. Why am I not jumping? while I was at it. Oh. Well, this bit of embarrassment is almost over. I know what I'm doing. So yeah, he's upset. I don't blame him. Alright. Air Arrow Aerials. Acro Aerials? Okay, yeah, this one's kind of tough. What we want to do is get a really good jump going and impress these judges. So we're going to get the jump and then, depending on the buttons I press, we can move around differently. Like, we're going we're gonna to get hurt. Yeah, well, that guy didn't even give us any points. Practice. Yeah, we'll do it again. So what we do is, once we start jumping, we can press up, down, left, right, to start moving around. And sometimes we move, and sometimes we don't. I'm not sure what's going on here. Again, this is one of those times where I should be looking at the instruction manual. We'll do it one last time, why not? And flop. So yeah, remember how I was talking about skiing games? At least the blunt, the downhill blitz and the arrow act. The acro aerials, we were on our skis. Well, now we're going to the intertube thrash. And this reminds me more of Tubin. And there we go. So, we're essentially in a tubing race. And I've got a fork. And I'm going to try to puncture my buddy's intertube over there. And we just sort of move left and right by pressing left and right. And also sort of sort of rotate left and right. And we have different power-ups. Like right now I have a uh, a dart. So I think I can deflate his tube a little better. But I can't. He's he's got like a uh, pocket knife or something. I've got the pocket knife as well. And now I've got the fork. Not so good. In 
Thunder Tube will give us a little bit more air. Ah, and that's a trap. I gotta turn around if I wanna... There we go. So even though I'm sort of ahead in the race, I am way behind on points. And he hit the mouse trap. Darked. Yeah, I only got a thousand points. So technically I won the race, but he beat us out on score. Alright, and there's only one left, and that's the Snowboard Half Pipe. Alright, don't worry, you're insured. So, we're just gonna skate to the left and right. We're not skating, we're snowboarding. We're gonna wanna try to pull off tricks. Now, most of these things we do not want to hit. I think the penguins are worth points, though. Let's hit a penguin, see what happens. Yep. So when I hit the, uh, the sides here, and I hit the A button, that's when I do, like, handstands and hand plants and stuff like that. Now, that was a bunny but a chainsaw. They are bad for you. Alright, so we're picking up the speed. We should be able to get better tricks now. Oof. I don't know you or your dog. Do not get the bunnies. There we go. Aw. Oh. Alright, we're just about out of time. So there you go. That is all five games for Ski or Die. Actually, not too bad, even though I'm very bad at it. We did pretty good with the Snowball Blast. So I hope you enjoyed this. To the best of my knowledge, uh, I don't know if Ski or Die has been released on anything else. Or re-released since it was originally released. It was it was uh, out on different computer systems at the time, including the NES. But that will do it for our, uh, our look at the game. Thanks for joining me. Take care.